Hi, Steve Von Brand here from the Bass College. Down here in the Northeast River, a uh, week after Everstart. Had temperatures uh, the last two days in the low 40s at night, 49 now. We got a uh, low tide at 5 o'clock, and uh, water temperature here is 68.3 at anchor. So I'm going to run out here, see what happens. Today we're going to throw some square bills, soft plastics, and uh, chatterbait. See if the fish are moving into all the hard cover yet, or there's still some left in the grass. We'll let you know what's happening in a minute, and I'll see you down on the water. Up here in the still pond. Decent fish. It's not giant, but it's got some uh, real weight to it. This is a Lucky Craft BDS. That's a big daddy strike. The bad tell him, Brian, that bait never fails me. Even when uh, they're having trouble catching them on another square bill or something like that, I always get them on the big daddy strike. Chunky little fish, legal. Weighs probably a pound six, pound seven, something like that. But I'll take it for now. What is that? It's a, cat. it's a channel cat. It's a channel cat. Oh my god. Oh, Senka. That's what I was marking. That's the fish I was seeing. I kept telling you, I said there's a bunch of fish down there. Yeah, Too bad that's what they were. First cat. Oh, he's decent too. No, I just no. lost a, a smallmouth. It was four or five pounds on a crankbait. Brian Colby here with Steve Von Brand for the Bass College. We're just uh, at the mouth of the Susquehanna here. Been working all over down by Middle River and Still Pond and some new places, almost down to the Chester. And uh, I just caught one and we caught a bunch of stripers as usual, but no real decent large mouth spots yet. And they're sitting on the edge of this grass, right underneath. All I did was cast back. I caught that four pounder, but uh, nice small man. A little bit bigger, and you'd be able to come up and use them in a tournament. But uh, not quite big enough for that. But there we go. <laughs> but fun because they fight so hard. I figured if I put that little grub tail to Kalen's grub on the back of the jig, that they would hit it on the drop off here in about 12 feet of water. Boy, that's really hooked. And he did. I caught that four pounder, but uh, nice small man. A little bit bigger, and you'd be able to come up and use them in a tournament, but uh, not quite big enough for that. But there we go. <laughs> but fun, because they fight so hard. I figured if I put that little grub tail to Kalen's grub on the back of the jig, that 
they would hit it on the drop off here in about 12 feet of water. Boy, that's really hooked. And he did. Up in the Susquehanna. Oh man, he is tough. How big is that? Just a regular? A nice size from nice. Another good one, see? Oh yeah, see that's nice. Don Avino, splash it. High rod, sunline, we're High in good shape. Sunline, yep. Now if we we have a we'd have a decent tournament limit on a bad day. I mean they're smallies, I mean, you know, you could take it for what it's worth, but when you're having a tough time, you catch one or two largemouth that say weigh two and a half, three pounds, and catch three of those. Largemouth down can here, but you never know. It yeah, it's a largemouth. And that's all you'd need to fill out the limit. It's not big, but a good one. But the other ones that, that I had, the one I had, and the smallmouth we have, Christ, that's a decent limit. Not a great limit, not an upper bay limit, but a good limit. <laughs> and uh, smallmouth are hitting it on fast cadence and he hit it on the paws, so. Chunky, nice, healthy looking fish. I don't see marks in him. No, healthy, no spots or anything. Yeah, nice. nice. Brother, it's a long road From Amistad to Toho Doesn't matter which way you go The miles are all the same you finally get there And when you pull the cover off Then it's time to get a little bit lost Out on the lake Gonna back this boat into the water Find a way to win a couple dollars Where the man says there's a cold front coming down Bring it on, I've seen it all by now I can catch them shallow, I can catch them deep the back of the creek, the wind and rain to me, it's all the same. I make a living playing this game, and I thank the Lord above every time. Uh, finishing up here on the Northeast today, we went all over the place. We ran all the way up past the Sassafras, up by Middle River, checked out some new spots. Wasn't really anything productive. We got one down there. Then we came back up, uh, started scouting for some stripers, deciding uh, we'll go back in Susquehanna, went back in there, and we caught a decent limit of uh, some smallies. You know, nothing, you know, to you know, write home about for the upper bay, but it's about 15 pounds if you stay there all day plus, so, I mean, that's not bad, so. No. Overall, good day. We're back here in the northeast right now, hitting a few spots, and that's going to wrap it up for the day. All right, we'll see you next time down the water. It's a long road from Amistad to Toho. Doesn't matter which way you go, the 
miles are all the same But when you finally get there And when you pull the cover off Then it's time to get a little bit lost Out on the lake 